Hey guys, so today we're going to be talking about a very famous sculpture garden called the Heidelberg Project. It is located in Detroit, Michigan. Some of you guys may have already heard of the Heidelberg Project or you've already been to the Heidelberg Project. So we're just going to take a look at some of the pictures that I got when I was there and a little bit just about the sculpture garden in general because not only is it really impressive but it's also very unique. Alright, so the Heidelberg Project was actually started in 1986 by artist Tyree Guyton. It was started on a street that he was actually living in in Detroit, Michigan called Heidelberg Street. Go figure. Um, and the street is in a historically black neighborhood and a historically very impoverished neighborhood, a neighborhood that a lot of people considered dangerous at the time. It was extremely blighted. And so the purpose for the project, as far as I personally understand it, was to kind of turn around the neighborhood and make it a place where people would want to go and people would be attracted to, actually. And it would be Detroit's first indoor-outdoor museum. And that was exactly what he accomplished. So despite its good intentions, the Heidelberg Project has actually been met with a lot of resistance from the community. In 1999, a lot of the art was demolished by the city, and again in 2004. Additionally, a lot of the art has been burned. Um, different works in different years, like even in more recent years, uh, in 2014, some of the artworks have been documented as burned. And so th this sculpture garden has really had to endure a lot along with the neighborhood. And it's surprising to me personally that the city would order a demolition to the project just because it was doing such a great thing for the neighborhood and because it continues to do such a great thing for the neighborhood. I'm surprised that it's not more protected. Alright, so this first picture is of the street, Heidelberg Street. And as you can see, there are a lot of dots painted on it, which is actually really cool. Like when we were turning the street, my best friend was all like, oh my gosh, what is this? This is crazy because it's different seeing dots painted on the street like that. And the second shot is of the Heidelberg House. So this is the actual indoor museum part of the house. All right, so this next one is one of the houses on Heidelberg Street. And it's just kind of the framework for the house, but what's kind of interesting is like what's being built around it. And a lot of it is recycled materials. It looks like a recycled door, a lot of records. And then we see this sign that says time. And we're gonna see in later photos, just like this one, that time is actually a major, major theme of the Heidelberg Project. And like there, there are like clocks everywhere. There are clocks painted everywhere. There are clocks painted on benches. There are clocks made of wheels. And it just kind of makes you wonder like why exactly Tyree Guyton chose that theme. This one is particularly interesting. It's um, of an old oven and it looks like there's a lot of liberties involved in what exactly is cooking in the oven. I'm not really sure why the piggy is bleeding quite as bad as the piggy is, but I really do appreciate that they used a piggy bank and put it in the old oven. I really like the use of oven mitts and of gloves. I think that's really cool as well. It kind of makes it look like the oven is alive. Alright, with this one we weren't really sure like what they were trying to do. It seemed like, it almost seemed like a Noah's Ark kind of thing to me, and you can kind of see a clock. Uh, right on the very left side of that, you just see the three and the four. Just wanted to draw attention to that, but yeah, it looks like the animals are, are trying to pile in, not quite two by two, into this really, really small boat that is covered in dots. And Garfield is at the ticket booth. Alright, as you can see on this tree, there are quite a few clocks. There are clocks made out of wheels, there are clocks that are just made out of clocks, clocks made out of picture frames. And obviously there are clocks all over the place, but there's quite the collection on this street. And I thought it was interesting that they didn't all read the same time because I was looking for the clocks to maybe give me a hint as to what they might be trying to say, like if the numbers were important, but it didn't seem that that was the case. And here we see a lot of old phones. Not quite sure what the symbolism is, but I just want to draw attention to that sidewalk as well as the phones. Let's take a look at the faces that are painted on the sidewalk. They're not all facing the same direction, and I honestly think that's a really, really cool artistic choice. All right, so there's something small that I'd like to draw some attention to, and I don't actually have a head-on shot of this sign because I just wasn't really focusing on it while I was there, but I probably should have given it a little bit more attention. 
So there's a certain area of Heidelberg Street where there seems to be another art project going on and there are various signs, like in this one, the, the black figure is holding a sign saying, this is not the Heidelberg project. And I was there with some friends and my friend actually thought that maybe they were trying to say like, hey, this isn't just the Heidelberg project, this is real life. And almost as an inspirational thing, but no, they are very distinctly trying to say we are a different art group, we are not the Heidelberg project. So while we were there, we actually got to meet the artist Tyree Guyton, and we asked him a few questions about the Heidelberg project. We tried not to mention really the other project. Uh, I didn't really want my, my meeting with him to be about conflicts that might be happening on the street. Um, but we really like asked him kind of about time and about the clocks and if there was like something that he really wanted us to know. And he left it up to our interpretation, as a lot of artists do, saying like, you know, just think about, about time. And time is actually something that I do a great deal of thinking about already, just thinking about like how much time I have left to do certain things and I don't know, before certain things happen. Like, like losing people, for example, like that's something that's really hard for me. And so like thinking about like making the most of time and making the most of like every day, like this was just kind of a reminder of me for that. And I really do think that he and a lot of the other artists on this project are really making the most of their time by making their neighborhood a way better place and almost like a, a nationally recognized place at this point. All right, so that's going to conclude our video about the Heidelberg Project. I hope that you saw some things that are interesting, some pieces of public art that you wouldn't normally see in every day. And honestly, I hope that you get a chance to visit at some point, especially if you're living in or around Detroit. It's definitely something to see.